Hi, I'm Joe B from KHS America, and we're here in the QC department, and we're going to talk about putting together your trumpet for the very first time. So we start with our case, and we always want to make sure with our case that we have the logo on the top. We want to sit it down nice on a flat surface so to make sure it doesn't fall or go anywhere. We're going to undo the latches and open up the case to reveal the trumpet. And we're going to take the, the plastic off. Be very careful, because sometimes it gets a little bit stuck on some of the equipment. Be careful of the hooks. They will, the plastic will get caught on the hooks and the valves. And just remember, if it doesn't come off too easily, don't force it, just take your time. Okay, so when you see your trumpet, there's, there's various parts to your trumpet. The most obvious part that everyone recognizes is the bell. We also have the valve casings, which is where kind of your engine to the trumpet. You've got your, your valve buttons and stems. These are the parts that make the trumpet work. You have a lead pipe, and then you also have a mouthpiece. And this is the trumpet mouthpiece. So we're going to take this out of its bag as well. Trumpet will also have some bottom caps. There's various slides that move. So all these slides here move. There's one for each valve and a main one. This is your main tuning slide, which is the part that you'll probably be most familiar with when you're tuning in band. Okay, then when you put your, your trumpet together, it's two parts that go together, the trumpet itself and the mouthpiece. And the easiest way to put your trumpet together is to very easily put your trumpet mouthpiece into the receiver, give it a slight push and a twist. One thing to remember never to do is to bang against the mouthpiece because it will damage the rim which can hurt your lips and also get it stuck in the trumpet. If you do ever get your mouthpiece stuck in the trumpet, carefully wrap it up in a towel so it's protected because it won't fit back in your case. Take it to your music teacher or to your music store. They have special equipment to help remove a stuck mouthpiece. Do not try and have your stronger brother, dad, whoever try to pull it out because you could do very great damage to the trumpet. So leave that to the professionals to do. They have the right equipment when that happens. And also when you remove the mouthpiece, again just a slight twist to pull it out. Be careful not to drop your mouthpiece. Always put it back in the case. It has a nice safe place for it. Okay? Uh, with the mouthpiece away safely, we're going to talk about how to oil the valves because they need oil for them to work. So I'm going to put the trumpet down here in the case. I'm going to go into my case. I'm going to take out my valve oil. Valve oil has a screw top. Come on. There we go. And then if you wrap your hands around the valve case like that, make sure you got a good firm grip on it. And then you can do it from either side when you're oiling your valves. What I like to do is do one valve at a time. So this cap here, we're going to unscrew that. And we're going to extend the valve so we can see just the silver part here. And we're going to take some valve oil and we're very generously going to apply some on there. You're going to see there's a valve guide here. Try not to twist this too much. There's a number here. The number should always be pointing towards the mouthpiece side. Give it just a little, work the oil in a little bit. Make sure the valve clicks into place. And then when you screw the top back down, it should go very freely. If you feel any resistance, do not force it because you don't want to ruin, that could be very dangerous to ruin the threads on here. Then you're going to repeat that for each valve. This is the second valve, and we're going to pull that out slightly, put some oil, work it in up and down a little bit, make sure that the valve is locked in, and very easily screw the cap back on. Lastly, the first valve. We're going to loosen that up, extend it out. Put some valve oil on there. Make sure it's clicked into place. 
and tighten the cap back down. After that, you have these nice lightning fast valves. They work very, very smooth and very fast. So if your valves get sluggish, don't be afraid to use oil. You should use enough oil to always make sure your valves are operating correctly. And then when you're done and you've, you're done with your practice session, you can take your trumpet, place it back into the case. Make sure that you put your valve oil away. Make sure that the top is on nice and tight. You don't want valve oil being squeezed out and getting into your case. Place it back into the compartment. And also remember with a trumpet, if you have your music book, do not put your music book in the case because it will bend this and your second valve won't work. So never put your book in the case. Always keep it separate. Never put anything on top of the trumpet for the same reason. And then when you're done, close your case. Close the latches, and then you'll be ready to go.